Hey everybody, welcome into Rock Painting 101. We are going to redesign this rock. Um, I had done this rock originally, just doing a tester stone with these glow-in-the-dark paints. So I was playing around with stripes, dots, all the different colors, and I didn't really love how it turned out. So today we are gonna give it a makeover with the Zentangles and Doodle style design on top um, so that it's something I'm happier to hide. So I am going to do multiple coats of each one of these colors. Um, I'm just doing the three now. I've got pink, purple, and the blue. So I'm just gonna layer it on um, in a few layers. So every time you'll see, I'll remove it from the screen for a moment. I'm using a blow dryer off to the side to let these layers um, dry <laughs> in between each coat so um, that was one dry and then we're gonna go over it again I have noticed uh, the thicker layers with these paints really help um, they kind of have to absorb the light before you use them so I just I'm going with three coats and there was already a little bit of paint on this one as well so it dried again there and this is the last coat I'm gonna do and you'll notice once I get all the colors down I am gonna take uh, my brush and kind of blend the edges together just a little bit um, whoop. <laughs> uh, just with a nice brush without extra paint on it just to kind of soften the edges just so there's not any really harsh lines under since I'm going to be doing lines on top all right, so we're all dry here. Um, I'm just using a notepad here so I can do some nice, crisp, straight lines. Um, and you will see here, um, when you lift up something like this, just kind of wipe. Don't give yourself a paper cut, <laughs> but just wipe so that you don't accidentally smear or smudge black paint on the top of your rock. So I'm just gonna go along here and break this rock into multiple pieces. Um, make sure when you're doing your second line on these, you factor in the thickness of your line itself. So you'll want to back up maybe a little further than you initially might think because that line's going to go on top. So it'll be a little thinner. So I'm going to do one more set here so that we'll have four distinct areas that we can create different little Zentangle designs inside each of the um, somewhat triangle. There's two triangles in the middle, and I guess they are triangles on the outside too. So you basically just have to decide on four different designs that you would like to do onto your rock. Um, there are books, I've got links to books that I've gotten inspiration from. I'll, I'll put those in the description below. Uh, but we're just gonna just play around with some things that I've used in the past, and most of these are pretty easy to um, accomplish. So the first one we're gonna do, just create three uh, parallel lines, and then we're gonna do a perpendicular line, creating a capital T, basically, intersection 90 degree angle in the other direction. And we're gonna create one, two, three in that direction. And we'll turn it again 90 degrees. And one, two, three. And just kind of go back and forth with this. You can go in a third direction as well. Sometimes I do that with this one. I'm just gonna go back and forth. Since it's a small space, I didn't want it to get the lines going in too many different directions. And then now with this second area that we're gonna do here, um, you kind of have to decide if you wanna have uh, darker black areas on your stone or not. Um, I kind of like to alternate. Some things will have more filled in than others. So we're just gonna create triangles off the side, leaving a space. We'll create basically a zigzag as we go down our stone. And then we're gonna come back and fill these triangles in, in a little bit. But just get your triangles smaller and smaller all the way down. I do like to try to keep the zigzag in the center consistent as far as the thickness. 
If it gets a little bit smaller on your way down, you know, that's okay. But go as far as you can with the design. And come back here on the other side and add one more. Now, I do want to add some round shapes on this. I've got, you know, straight lines on one side, these triangles on the other. So we're going to just start by doing little half circles, alternating up the sides all the way towards the top. And then we're going to fill those in black. And then we're going to kind of create arches here around these shapes. We'll add one more here down at the bottom. It can be falling off the edge. So we're going to start with one arch around each one of our dots. So just work your way over each of them. And then we're going to slowly add in more arches. But we're going to work one area at a time so that we know when they're going to hit each other. So you don't want to start on one shape and do, you know, three arches at a time because they won't overlap the same way they would. There we go. Get two on each of these. And obviously you're going to have more space around the bottom. And then we're going to add a fourth anywhere that we can. Oh, I kind of hit a little dot. Some of my dots underneath here are a little lumpy. There we go. And maybe we can start to fill in now any of those spaces where there wasn't an arch. And I'm going to come back and fill in these triangles, like I said earlier, on this line. And I still haven't quite decided at this point what I was going to do on the right-hand side. Um, and that's okay. If you're not, you know, sure what you want to do, set it to the side. You can always come back um, once you've figured it out. So once we get all these triangles filled in, I'm actually going to come around and line the outside edge just to kind of crisp it up. We are going to paint down the sides of the stone at the end as well. So, so what I decided to do here, um, since we have the straight, then the round, then the straight style. So I wanted to do something else round. So we're just going to do these little lines coming out from the edge in both directions. We're gonna alternate directions, just with the dot at the top. Just something super simple, but it just, it looks so cute when it's done. You know, take your time, get nice rounded dots. There you go, and just pull each of them to the edge or pull out from the edge and top it with the dot, whichever way you wanna do it. Um, Just work your way as far to each side as you can get and be happy with the shapes you're getting. It might be easier to add the dot at the end so that you know that you're going to fit. And then we'll quickly head back in the other direction here. And then I'll show you a little trick I have for painting down the sides. So these flat stones, it can be kind of hard to get on the side without just getting a whole bunch on the surface you're painting on. And then sometimes you'll end up stuck to a piece of paper that you're painting on. So I'm just taking a little bit of painter's tape and this little jar, you could use medicine cups, whatever, just to get it right off the surface enough that you can easily get around the edge with your black paint. So. This is going to be sped up quite a bit here, um, just to show, you know, just go work your way right down those edges on these flat stones. Um, it just gives it a nice finished look to have that nice crisp, dark black edge. So you want to go over the top just that little bit. That's why we did that line. Now the best part, let's make it glow. And there it is. The contrast with the black on these glow-in-the-dark paints is so fun. I just really like um, how it really does make those colors pop a little bit more. And this is probably the best footage I've gotten of the glow-in-dark ones. Sometimes they don't glow that well. So thanks for watching. Here's some more glow-in-the-dark options for you. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.